I've had to propagate uh, very last minute. I didn't want to. They were droopy and especially this one as well and they weren't going towards the light um, the way all the other leaves were. So. I got root rot, 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 rot in one of the vines. Super quick last minute video to talk you through what happened today with one of the vines of my variegated monstera. I think you can see what's happened here. So what I've done is, let me just bring this over so I can get all these in shot. What I've done is I've had to propagate uh, very last minute. I didn't want to, but um, I got root rot in one of the vines uh, on my variegated monstera. Um, I haven't, I actually got another quite large variegated monstera. Um, and I haven't unboxed it, or well, I haven't done an unboxing video yet, but this is it. It's like, it's Bay. It's Queen Bay. She has three vines. Well, she did have three vines um, and she's beautiful. But today I took a closer look at this one because I noticed that especially this leaf, they were droopy and especially this one as well. And they weren't going towards the light um the way all the other leaves were so i had a look at the roots well the bottom of the stem and it literally came away in my hand uh so i have very quickly let these stay out to dry so i'm letting the the bottom here off can you see that probably not yeah you can see it there i'm letting the bottom of this let me just um see if i can get that to focus a bit better doesn't want to. Um, so I'm letting that callus over. Then I'm going to dip these in or dump them into wax so that I can seal uh, the bottom of the stems. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put them in perlite with some water because I recently did do a propagation, my first ever propagation attempt, and it did take well. I will show you that in a minute. Um, but the uh, the stem started to rot a little and I had to uh, address that. Um, I'm not sure how well you're going to see that because of the lighting, but it is unscented. It's really important that you use unscented. And while I'm letting that wax melt, I will show you the very first propagation attempt and talk you through that a little. And here's my very first propagation attempt. Um, how beautiful is that basket? Got that out of home base. It was like $3.99 or something. Uh, she's doing really well. Really, really well. Um, I love her leaves. Not massively variegated. Not like huge size either. But they're just, they're lovely leaves. And this is actually a transparent pot. So you can see all the lovely roots there let's see if i can get a good sorry about that my finger was the front of the camera yeah you can see that right there that's really awesome so lovely root system being established there and i did this cutting myself it was my first ever and as i said the root stem you know the very bottom you know right here um, it was starting to go dark grey and it just didn't look good and I, I was starting to worry an awful lot and I just decided to, well, I asked for advice in one of the Facebook groups I'm in and I was advised to take the entire thing out of water and just put the roots, it was starting to grow a couple of, two small roots and just to put the roots in water and that's what I did. I had it balanced horizontally over the glass it wasn't pretty but it worked because ta-da and at some stage i'm going to sell this um so that'll be interesting i can't wait for this to get a new home but i'm only going to do that after it has produced its third leaf and its third leaf is uh looking very promising you're not going to be able to see that because uh it's just so difficult to focus um, yeah, you're not going to see that, but there is a third leaf starting there and I'm really excited about that. 
And while I'm waiting for the wax to still melt, it's taking forever, I thought I would show you guys Bay. So this is the main variegated Monstera that that vine came from. There were originally three vines with this variegated Monstera, the one that rotted was just over on this side and as you can see she is just I mean she seems to be doing really well but for some strange reason um that vine just didn't take this is my gorgeous um Majestica white star isn't she just an absolute dream this is my philodendron birkin and I'm not gonna lie it's boring me I'm getting bored so I will do another video. I hope this isn't too overexposed. Let me just bring that down a little. I will do another video um, to talk about this beautiful plant in more detail. You can see that it's um, going round there to face the sun. There are uh, sunflowers that I'm growing. But yeah, so I will do a video on this um, specifically. But let's get back to my propagation attempts. This is taking such a long time, surprisingly, to... Uh... Oh, damn! Thought it'd be a good time as well, guys, to show you the variegation on some of these. Um, you can see nice amount of white. I like to see white, thick white stripes um, on the stems, and this is a really nice... Uh, variation of that um you I mean you can tell by this incredibly limp leaf that uh the variegation is lovely i mean look at that there's actually quite a bit of white on that i think this one's going to be a real beaut i mean that's why like it's worth saving it really is it's worth saving um and this one isn't in as great a uh, condition i had to cut some of it off um but again you can see look at those lovely stripes lovely and um just for those of you that aren't familiar uh let me just get a good example here so i've cut it beneath the node so oh, hold on so that is the node right there i'll just point it out and then we have an aerial root and um the the stem here so you know this is hopefully good ingredients we have the node we have a leaf let me just get this in focus come on there we go we have a node this is a node right here we've got an aerial root we've got the leaf these are good ingredients for starting a propagation so let's just dunk that in there we go you can see that um working away there <laughs> I got these glasses out of Poundland and you guessed it, they were a pound and I just thought they were pretty nice, very simple, uh, nice little uh, vessels for my propagation attempt. Uh, in case anyone's interested, this is a recent purchase out of H&M, love it. This was bought out of Marks and & Spencer's and these were out of Anthropology. Anyway, that's my interior stuff coming into play there. So what I'm going to do is put uh, the... The leaves, oh that one's looking really sad, oh dear, I hope it perks up soon. Now I'm going to put all of these in their new homes and that one's not looking very healthy either, oh dear. Anyway, um, I'm going to put them all in their new homes and then what I'm going to do is add my perlite which I got from Soil Ninja, as you can see. I'm not sponsored, you know, this wasn't gifted. I paid for this myself. So I'm gonna pour the perlite in. I don't think I'll be able to do this and keep all this steady and straight at the same time. So give me two seconds and I'll come back to you. <laughs> now 
going to put a little bit of filtered water in there. Um, I'm doing it just so like there's a little bit of moisture. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, how much to add. I'm just doing this. Like, I don't really want that much to go in. I'm really not sure how much water to put in. If I'm doing this wrong, let me know, guys. But, like... I'm going to assume you're not supposed to put too much in here um but you know I'm, I'm obviously going to monitor progress and well, I'll probably put too much in that one ah, oh well um and see how we're doing but that's it for now um it'll be very easy to see if these are taking to this because let's be honest these two couldn't look any worse anyway guys leave comments below if you think i'm doing something wrong uh please i'm by no means an expert in this um or if you think there's things i could also do in addition to this to help this process please leave some comments i'm more than happy to receive those and follow me on instagram i'll leave a link in the description so that you can follow the daily progress as, re as well and i'll obviously uh, upload more videos and more content to keep you guys updated see you later mm -hmm.